Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the semi-final of the Best Lee Sin EU West Tournament here at Die God Live. I'm Tekken Link, I'm your caster for today. And we are looking at Kazak versus Cherius. It's currently 1-0 in favor of Kazak. And both Lee Sins deciding to go for exactly the same setup as the previous game, so not much to be said about that one. Again, they are waiting for about uh, one minute to get their fourth potion. And then we'll be heading back into the lane to give each other some love taps. No or maybe go all in and enemy. maybe get a kill that Nine early on. No impairment against a smelly enemy. Uh, for those again, this is the semi-finals, not the finals. <laughs> and Charles is running circles around the we Nexus. Not, this day. not really a place uh, that is... Definitely safe for now. Cherry is still waiting here. Is now heading back into the top side of the lane. Same goes for Kazakh, so they will be meeting in about, uh, let's say, 10 seconds or so. So, again, slow start to the, to the matches. That's a little bit unfortunate, but hey, we know that would happen due to the fact that this is a one versus one situation and both of the players really need that additional potion. We saw what happened before with uh, the cross matchup I believe where we had one of the players deciding not to go for the fourth potion and he got pretty much destroyed and because uh, a fourth potion is still an additional 150 hit points right there. So yeah, it's it's going to come down to hi who hits uh, who hits level two first. Is it going to be Cherius or is it going to be Kazak? It looks like it's going to be Cherius. So now he can start smashing uh, Kazak's face in, but that's not going to happen because Kazak uh, Kazak also hits his level two, and the only way he could do that actually would probably be due to experience runes, which give you level two after one wave instead of after one wave and a moon. And again, Cherry is taking a lot of damage here from the Tempest Triple. As Kazak is just sitting here and waiting for his level 3 uh, to well, finally come about. He should be able to hit level 3 from one of the melee minions here, though. And he's doing his utmost best of keeping it outside of tower range, and now he will be able to hit level 3. And maybe jump back onto Cherry. Of the Lee Sin players really scared here because for Cherius is basically it's, it's pretty simple. He cannot lose another game, then he loses the match and he's out of the tournament. Period. If it, if it is for a Kazakh, he can lose another game, but he'd rather not. And he knows this is, that his opponent needs to win two in a row. So most likely, Cherius is going to be playing a lot more aggressive than say a Kazakh, and he can make use of that by just going on the defensive style that he has been playing. Oh, <laughs> the Sonic Waves on both! Now Cherry is taking a lot of damage there from one Sonic Wave, but the Safeguard is going to save Kazakh's hit points because Cherry was not able to turn around for a counter initiation. And again, the Sonic Wave missing here on Cherry, so now Kazakh smells the weakness, goes in, so misses Sonic Wave, and as a result is not able to proceed with his chase. And we immediately see Cherry is heading back to base. As Kazakh is just going to push it out a little bit more. Cherry is now going back to base. We'll be picking up a Dorm's Blade. Still has his Elixir of Fortitude. As Kazakh has already used it. So that's quite interesting here. That Kazakh decided to go for that Elixir of Fortitude that early. So that he might just push down the tower a little bit. That might be a solution there. As the wave is going to get cleared here by the tower. The Kanami is going to soak up a lot of the damage here. So we might just see Charius getting in, uh, getting in time for a lot of minions, but he's definitely going to lose out on a lot of CS here. Again, the tower is uh, definitely throwing a wrench into Charius' plan. And as we see a double rejuvenation bead here. So is Kasa going to go for the Tiamat here? That That is also an option. We could see a Tiamat here. Because we haven't seen a Tiamat in the entire game, but it only costs about 2,000 gold. 
and he knows that he's probably going to be hitting that amount of gold right there. So Adorance Blade and Double Rejuvenation Beast, it's also going to give him the ability to just sit there and wait. Wait for Jarius to do his thing instead of having to go in himself. Kazakh again, just while sitting in the tower doing a really fine job, but is going to miss that uh, little minion due to the fact that he didn't have his Tempest Cripple available to pick up that kill. Right, so again, here's Safeguard going out onto Cherius. Cherius taking a fair share of damage for himself. Sonic Wave misses. Kazakh again, just not able to get an, uh, a powerful lead here. And Kazak really needs to watch out because the Elixir of Fortitude, it only has about one third of its uh, duration left. And that means that in one minute, he's going to get engaged on by Chirius. Shere is now jumping right onto Kazak. A lot of damage going down. The Ignite goes down. The barrier is still available on Kazak. What is he going to do? <sighs> Sonic Wave missed, and that might just hurt Charles so, uh, Chirius so much. As Kha'Zix has a lot of sustain right there, with the double rejuvenation beat, we'll be able to just say, oh, actually, a really daring Sonic Wave Resonating Strike there from Cherius, as Kha'Zix goes dangerously low. Kha'Zix still here with the um, barrier, though, so he's not out of the out of the game yet, but he's definitely n not out of the woodworks. As uh, Kha'Zix continues to lay the offensive, Dragon's Rage is available on Kazakh, so should Charius go in and deal a little bit more damage than Kazakh would like him to deal, he still can kick him into the turret right there. And Charius again with Kazakh just waiting there. If we're looking at the hit point regeneration per 5, he has 20 versus the uh, 11 from Charius. That's pretty much doubling up. It's going to give him a lot of sustain in the lane that does not require him to actually deal damage to his target. And again, Sonic Wave landing onto Kaza. Kazakh's still sitting here and not really thinking of backing off right now. Sonic Wave again from Charius wants to try and get in front or right behind Kaza, kick him out and immediately engage once his knight is back up. And Kazakh able to clear it away pretty fast with the Tempest Cripple. And Chirius is pretty much left hanging here. So I'll make wave landing onto Kazakh. Let's take a quick look at uh, what both of the champions are choosing as their skill order. Chirius going for the Tempest Cripple option, whereas Kazakh decides to go again for the unified save Tempest option as he levels both of his spells right there. Again, taking a lot of damage from the Sonic Wave. Kazakh might just go down here. Dragon's Rage is available. The barrier is available as well. For Bodley Sins. And Kazakh is not really afraid of dying here, but he should be because this is a Sonic Wave and immediately gets blown to bits. No barrier used. If he used his barrier right there, Charius would have never gotten that kill. 